This is my articulating cube project. It is a cube right now. <laughs> and I'm about to turn it into a Uzi. So here we go. Okay, so I have this grip, which is going to press fit onto right here. And then I have this clip, which will press fit into the handle but it has these stops so that it will you know, um, go only to a certain point. Like so. Pause it real quick. I forgot. Here we go. So now I'm going to show you the butt of the or the extendable butt of the Uzi. Here we have this, which extends like so, using Chicago screws to create this hinge. And I have dowels that create the support between. Um, now I'm going to unscrew this one so that I can put it through the hole in this piece. Okay, so now I have this piece right here. Also, this is a press fit piece with tabs, which goes into there. And then to keep this straight, we have stops right here so that it stays just like that. And then in order to make this actually stay straight, I have made a detente with two BBs on each side. So, and I have made indentations in here. And therefore this stays straight. Hmm. Now I will show you this. This is the front of the gun. It has a telescoping action right here. It has a double telescoping action. This piece and this piece. And I have used magnets that are embedded in here and in the body here and here to be able to stick these pieces together like so.
<laughs> and then I have magnets for this piece as well that will hold this piece in place. Now for added support and also because it was a necessary part, I have these sites that I've built and they function as support and also an extra part which they go into these, use these um, pegs and they go into these holes and they hold it together even more. <laughs> so here we go. We have a fully assembled Uzi. But wait, there's more. Not only do I have this end piece, but if I take it off of the um, detente, it actually fits around the body as it should in reality. So it folds up just like a real doozy would. As you can see, this is now compacted. And also, let me re extend that. Now, as you may be wondering, where is the mechanism? Here is a trigger right here. And there's a hole up here. If I pull the trigger, as you can see, a little sight pops up. Now, I can line that up. If I look through the sights, it just comes up just above the top, able to aim. Now, would you like to see how that works? Let me remove this panel, which is held in by magnets. So here is the mechanism. I've used a um, series of acrylic pieces to create a bracket and I've used dowels to facilitate that. There is a spring in here that's held in place with the frame of the handle um, with acrylic pieces to support it and there's a backstop here and basically um, I've supported the trigger with pieces of acrylic to keep it stable and not flex and then I have a dowel here which um, allows everything to um, do a rotating movement. These are just basically acrylic pieces that are fixed in position and rotate all together. And yeah, um, now I'm going to disassemble it and put it back to the cube. <laughs> it's disassembling itself. Added feature. I'm that good. <laughs> believe that all in all this is a total of 15 pieces. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I forgot to show you the grip. <laughs> this was the grip <laughs> that goes on the front of it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, 
so the grip, which is held on by magnets. It just goes on like that. So, no biggie, just, just a grip. <laughs> So now time to reassemble as a cube. right here which goes into this hole so holds that in place so I'm gonna put that right there like so and I'll put this panel back like so so one more one more look at the uh, internals of the Uzi pegs here and two holes here right here for them to go into to hold it into place so like so and this piece has a peg here which goes into a hole here like so Two sights slash fasten devices go into the butt of the gun right here. Now this rests on that and then is interlocked with the handle grip. Like so. And this panel, which is the grip on the front of the gun, by these two magnets here, connects with the two magnets inside of the body and fits on like so. Therefore, we now have the cube again. Cube. 
And that is my articulating cue. Assembled, disassembled, and explained. <laughs>